video is the continuation of the previous video. In the previous video, we talk about that the, the time that it takes a student to finish a lunch falls between 10 and 55 minutes and the time follows uniform distribution. So we know the minimum is 10, the maximum is 55. And then the PDF is f of x equals to 1 divided by 55 minus 10 equals to 45. So that's why the height of the rectangle is 145 and we drew the graph for each problem. So in this uh, video, we are going to talk about how to deal with conditional probability of a uniform distribution problem. So first, the question is asking, given that a student has spent 22 minutes to eat lunch, find the probability. So let's pause right here. So part H is probability. Given that spent 22 minutes to eat a lunch, that student is still eating, right? So that will be X greater than or equal to 22. Find the probability that this student can finish um, the lunch in less than 42 minutes. So probability that X is less than or equal to 42. So here is the graph. So we bring the graph back and then we uh, want to uh, sketch the area. So first of all, 22, 22 is here and then 42, 42 is over there. So this probability is the same as what is the probability that is between 22 and 42, right? Then most people might think, fine, then we take 42 minus 22 times the height, then we get the area, but it is not that simple because this is a conditional probability. Do you see that there is a given condition? If the question is asked is phrased like that, then you have to change the PDF. So since that is so important, let's do that in another color. So you have to change the PDF based on what? Based on the given. So the given is greater than or equal to 22. Then what you have to do is the new PDF is f of x equals to the maximum minus the given. 22. So that is 1 divided by 33. So this is no longer 1 over 45. This is now 1 divided by 33. Okay, so that changes the height of the rectangle. So how do we answer the, this question? So we go back to that color. So we use the min, I mean max minus the min, and then divided by the height. So that is equals to 20 divided by 33. So 20 in your calculator, you type 20 divided by 33. So that is approximately equal to 0 0.6061. So that's how you answer this question. All right. And then uh, in the next part, we will have solved another conditional probability. Suppose that a student has spent at least 18 minutes to eat a lunch, find the probability that this student can finish the lunch using more than 30 minutes. So using more than 30 minutes, uh, let's switch color for an, another problem. So part I is probability that given greater x is greater than or equal to 18, more than 30. So that will be x greater than 30. And then we uh, bring the graph back. So we bring the graph back and then we put the area right here, so 18. This is 18 and then uh, this is 30, but I am asking for greater than 30. So greater than 30 will be right here. Do we need to know that it's greater than or equal to 18? The answer is no, because greater than 30, so now 36 greater than 30 covers greater than 18. So how do we change the PDF? So change the PDF. I would like to do that in another color. So change the PDF. So that is f of x equals to 1 divided by the maximum minus the given, minus 18. Okay, so then you change the PDF, you have to change the 45 as well. You take 55 minus 18, that is 1 divided by 37. So this will be 1 divided by 37. That changes the height of the um, rectangle. And then that is the same thing as we go back to orange. That is the same thing as probability that X is between uh, 30 and 55. OK, so that is uh, 55 minus 30 and then times the new PDF, which is 1 over 37. So that is a 25 divided by 37. Then you take 25 divided by 37. That is approximately equal to 0 0.67. 67.56, right? But you add one to the six, then that will be a 57. 
and that answers this probability question. The last question that I asked in part i is are these two events independent or dependent? So in part i, we say that these two events are independent. Why? Because greater than 30 covers greater than 18. So in order to find greater than 30, I don't need to know that it's greater than 18, right? Pick a number greater than 30. Let's say 36. So that means greater than 30 covers greater than 18, right? Because 36 must be greater than 18. 30 itself is greater than 18. If you pick a number greater than 30, that number must be greater than 18. So back to the previous problem, are these two events independent or dependent? So back to the previous problem, they are dependent because in that problem, we have to use the condition greater than or equal to 22. So in this problem, they are dependent because we need the 22, right? Between 22 and 42, we need the lower limit greater than 22. Without the lower limit, that is not going to work. But in part I, we don't need to know that it's greater than 18 because greater than 30 covers greater than 18. So that is the end of this video. I hope that helps you to solve a conditional probability question when you encounter uniform distribution. If you think my instruction is helpful, please subscribe, like, and share. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that is good or bad? I will see you all in the next problem. In the next problem, I will introduce how to solve percentile problem on a conditional, uh, conditional, on a uniform distribution. I will see you all in there.